Hello, all you wonderful creatures. Phelan here, and today we're going to be doing another island tour. Today's island is Ellington by R6 Rayan. It's a Japanese horror mystery island. So I'm really excited because that just sounds exactly like what I want to look like. So to start off, let's take a quick look at the map. We're obviously here at the airport, and we have Sammy, Aoki, Fang, all oh, adorable. <gasps> Judy, she's one of the newer ones. She's kind of rare. Sucker, Marina, Dom, Dobby, Sasha, I love him. He's one of the new ones too. Raymond, of course, Shino, and Marshall. They actually have, it looks like, I mean, technically that's all of the most popular villagers right now, so that's really exciting. All right, let's go take a look. Oh, this entryway is gorgeous. I love that. Oh, and confetti, like, welcome to my island. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Oh, and coming into a street, oh, a city. I love a good city court island. Look at that. That's amazing. Oh, I see some presents. So I'm going to take those. And we'll see if there's anything good in them. Oop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, maybe I should read. Oh, a detective coat. We'll absolutely wear that. Open this up. What's this one? Oh, a shovel. Okay. A golden shovel. Even better. And a detective hat. Oh, well, of course we'll wear that. My little sunglasses now don't quite fit the theme, so let's, um... There we go. <laughs> but the bear backpack stays. No questions asked. Okay, so... As you guys might have noticed from the last couple of island tours, I enjoy going to the left. Oh, I have a walk thing now, so I'll cross. Um, oh, can't get both the robot. I enjoy starting to the left, so let's start over to the left. Beautiful street area. I see little alleyways. I kind of want to go down here. Oh, and you can't go that way. That's fine. <laughs> no worries. Oh, there's uh, so much detail. I mean, beyond just like the custom flooring and such, there's the little items just thrown all over the place really adds a lot to it. Ooh, is it like a hair salon studio, P photography studio? A little scooter. I like how they all have the lights on. I actually. I actually didn't know you could turn the lights on on the scooter. Oh, I recognize this as I have something almost exactly the same on my island. A beautiful school. Look at that. That's actually a good idea to kind of block it off. I might steal that. Because <laughs> on my island, actually, it, um, I don't know, just, it just, it seems weird to have it open because it doesn't thematically match anything else I have going on. <laughs> so. Oh. Okay, don't go swimming. Like, riptides, I guess. This is a school area. Oh, a nice little volleyball court like that. This is really nice. I like this a lot. Okay. We'll keep... We'll go back up this way. Uh, I, I, I can't get over the custom flooring. I mean, this is all so beautiful. It really feels like a city. And, you know, once again, soccer season. I love it. Oh, let me sit on one of these benches. Hold on. Oh, this is so tranquil, these little areas. Sometimes on islands where they have little areas like that that are just kind of simple... It feels out of place, but in this case, it works really well. Oh, this is, this is nice. Let's see. Ooh, that's beautiful. That might have to be the thumbnail. <laughs> oh, I love all of this. Just so much 
hiding all these little odd edges is really clever too. I like that. Oh, a dig site. Did they find anything in the dig site? No. So I know there's an element of mystery to this island. Um, I don't see anything yet, but I could also just be dumb. So. <laughs> Oh boy, this me and this map, so I'm going to have to loop back on myself quite a bit, I can tell. Um, we're going to go down because we weren't quite able to go down before. Up all the little boats. I love this. Little dock to go fishing. I really enjoy the custom seashell patterns here too. And the use of the weeds on the beach to really... I don't make it feel truly beachy because when you go to a real beach, there's always some kind of seaweed or something. All right, let's go check out the little village nook here. Oh, there's some kind of... Okay, this is like the local trash area where you can bring all your trash and it'll be taken out. I like that all the villagers have their own little section, but... It's not um, taking up too much space. They still feel like they have their own yard, but it's really minimized in a way that works well with the theme. Oh, a little outlook. That's cute. The watermelon beach ball, of course, it's got to have that. And that's just like a barbecue, broken down car. It's really, this is interesting to me because a lot of people tend to utilize the beach space as additional decorative space and they definitely did as well but they kept it more like an authentic beach like you would find random bits of trash or shells and you would have little barbecues and such so I I like that I like that they kept it true to how beaches just tend to be all right is this, is the player house? Whose house am I near? Dom's house. Okay. So, okay. So they made these houses look more like shops. Okay. That explains it. I was kind of confused for a second. Oh, I like that. I like the use of the string light behind what are they called is, is it a tory gate a, a dory gate someone correct me in the comments please because i know i definitely got that wrong this is great these food stalls that's a great idea i love that hello hello i did i did not want what well now we're gonna have to figure that out and I like that the spacing between the trees, they used the, um, the ash tree there, or is it ash or aspen? I can never remember. This is lovely. Oh, I like this. Really simple. I'm liking the very simple but pretty ways of filling out space. Villager houses are a great way to do that if you're never sure what to do. Okay. Um, let's see. Ooh, that's the second bridge. We'll get there in a second. Hello, Sasha. You're so cute. Oh. This is nice. Is this Raymond's space? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not surprised by that, but I love that. That's perfect. I'm sure he appreciates it as well. Sasha, you're so cute. So cute. If I ever make another island, I want Sasha on it. Oh, there's so much to see here. I think I already came this way. Am I? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just there's so much pathing. That's sometimes when there's a lot of pathing to like make it so there's no weeds and such growing. I get a little uh, confused because I'm not always bright. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Oh, wait, no. I want to get... 
I'll have to take a picture later. That's so cool. I love this symmetry here. Oh, it's the museum. Oh my gosh. Stop. That's so cool. I love that. I didn't even know it was the museum. I just thought I was going to go back there and maybe see like a player house, but oh, what a great way. Okay, we're going to go over this bridge instead. I'm loving all of these gates. Oh, it's one of my favorite decorations. It's so pretty. All of the cherry blossom predators. Some of my favorite. Oh my gosh. Everything feels so... I'm liking this section here because it feels very new and alive. And it complements the city vibe really well. Oh my. Oh. Where, where is this going? Oh, they gave me a shovel. I see a dig spot. Let's go figure out what this is. A fossil. Well, that's fine. We'll take that with me anyways. So I have a feeling I'm going to have to dig some stuff out. Where that is, I don't know. But that's okay. Oh, there's a spot here to dig out. Let's go check it out. A pitfall. You thought I was going to fall for that. Well, the joke is on you. I didn't. <laughs> All right. This is where we were. So let's just keep focusing on this area. This is... Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Oh, I love all of this. Okay. Wow. They really added a lot of beautiful pieces. The pagodas. Oh! Uh oh. That. <clears throat> I think we, uh. <laughs> I think we're starting to see why this is a horror island. Uh, okay. Well, anything else in the perimeter before I... Anything else? Huh. Um. Okay, well, this I know is a player home, so let's go check it out. Fingers crossed. Hopefully it's nothing um, too intense. Oh, very charming. I like this a lot. That's a, such a good wallpaper. I had that in my home for a long time. All right, well, I say let's start Oh, I always forget that those are cushions that you can sit on. Let's start toward the back. We'll see what they have going on back there. Oh, Lord, let's see. Oh, um. Oh, boy. Well, this all seems very sacrificial. Are they possessed dolls? Ooh, okay. Well, we know where the horror is starting to come in. Hey, um, whoever owns this house, just so you know, you've got some really seriously wonky stuff going on in the back. Just thought I'd let you know, give you a heads up in case you didn't. Ooh, an immaculate kitchen. Look at this. I can't really walk around. It's very tight in here. Oh, but it's filled up so well. Look at this. Oh, I love it. And the little box TV. What a great idea. A lot of houses in America have TVs in their dining area. My family is not one of those families. We never have been, but a lot of families do that. They have like a small TV in the kitchen when they're prepping food or just for 
they're eating breakfast dinner. I am liking all the different, um, oh gosh, like the different effects, the polishes that they did. This is nice. So they have like, they have the toilet area with a closet. And they have this space for the tub. I like it a lot. That's nice. And great choice in wallpapers. I really like them. So we did that. Let's go upstairs. We'll go check out what could be a bedroom. Could be an attic. Okay. So it's almost like a studio apartment kind of bedroom where there's a sitting area to one side with a TV. That's a nice space. I like all the details they put in there. And then this side. Oh. And there's a baby crying. Oh. And on the side's the bedroom with the closet, piano. I like that a lot. That's really nice. They're really great at separating um, the rooms up into different spaces. I was going to say separating the spaces, but <laughs> I don't think that would have made as much sense. Oh, well, this is different. What happens if I hit the button? Nothing? Okay. Well, there's dark forces coming from something over here. That ball. Okay. So it looks like he's trying to possibly bring the dead back to life. There's skeletons all over the place and weird animals and experimental kind of things. Hmm. And there's the little ghost thing in the tube. Interesting. Very interesting. We're gonna solve this mystery. Or well, my name isn't Sherlock Holmes. I, yeah, that was a cool space. I liked that a lot. Well done. I still can't get over the blood splatter over there. All right, we're going to start heading to the right. Okay, head down into this area, which is massive and expansive. Nice way to fill up the private beach. I always call it a private beach because I tried to keep mine a private beach for the longest time. It just... You know, the little hidden beach in the back. I do like when people use the we're open sign more as a light feature and they just kind of turn it around to hide the words if it doesn't fit with what you're going for. Oh, we can't go over there, but it looks like there's some stuff going on. Hmm. Now, this is interesting because this is clearly like the abandoned area where they were here, but nature's starting to take back over. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of dig spots. And a massive beetle. Okay, we gotta get up there. How do we... Alright, here we go. It's like a maze of telephone poles. Okay. Well, we dug up the pitfall so we can get through. Alright, so many. So many. Another pitfall. You thought you could make me fall into these. Well, you were mistaken. Okay. I'll walk over this one just to appease you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> just to appease you. Goodness, I don't remember them being such a pain in the butt to get out of. Pitfalls everywhere. You just wanted me to dig up all the pitfalls, didn't you? Well, the joke's on you. Because I'm not. Well, maybe I will. Another one. They just... <laughs> they knew I was going to do this. So it's okay. It's all right. No worries. We'll just walk over it. There you go. Everyone can see me panicking. Oh no, a pitfall. Wherever did that come from? Oh, all the bugs are freaking out. Is this another one? Oh, oh. Fossil? Yeah. <laughs> of course it is. 
with all these dang bugs. They're huge. So I'm wondering if it's meant to be like there was some kind of like radioactivity. A pitfall. You thought you could trick me with that again. Oh, hello, Dobby. How are you? I don't want to pick up your weeds. I'm not leaf. I'm not going to do the weeding for your garden, your island. Pitfall? Yep. Thank you for just standing there watching me, Dobby. You're a big help. We're just going to trip. We'll just trip all of them. Why not? Who cares? Who cares at this point? Another pitfall. My goodness. I'm going to pick up this weed. We're going to kick that pitfall. There's a painting here. I'm trying to see what it is. It's just a random guy. That's kind of weird. Another pitfall. Okay, well, you know, these pitfalls are starting to get a little old. All right. This is where I was trying to get to because I saw a ton of dig spots and they're all pitfalls. The mystery of the island is how many, how does so many pitfalls end up here? If you can solve that, you can solve anything. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. That doll that I picked up, in case any of you don't know. Oh. An axe. Oh boy. Interesting. So the, the doll I picked up there is that little ghost doll that we saw in the container. It's one of the Sanrio items. It's super cute. In this case, it's meant to be a ghost with an axe. I was, I think I came this way. Yeah, I did. I did. Okay. So we're going to have to do some backtracking, guys. But that's okay. So we had a bloody bag. We have a doll. I, we have me being stuck again. <laughs> let's put the shovel away. All right, let's see. We'll go back over this beautiful bridge. Okay. And then we'll, I guess, stick to the right this time. That was Raymond's house. Yes, yes, of course. Of course, I remember that. We'll go over this bridge. Oh, nice area. Oh, there's something over there. But how do I get over there? Hmm. It's almost like they don't want me getting over there. <laughs> There's got to be a way up there, though, because there's a seating area, too. I'll find it. There's a way somehow. All right, so we're going to go back over the bridge. Oh, this is all so nice and so cute. I really like this. And not bloody. <laughs> all right, let's see. We're going to go back down. I'm going to head back this way. Back over this stunning shot of the bridge. Back past the shop here, past the school, toward the main part of town. And then we're going to go up this time. We're going to go up. My goodness gracious, what is this? These shops? Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. And there's this must be a public park of some kind over here. I think it's interesting how they have a sense of of space, clearly, because, you know, they there's a lot of items and such, but they really direct, um, direct where you're going by placing trees and other items and such in the areas you'd normally use to walk around. Okay, so I do see... I missed that. Oh, a fossil. How convenient. All right, let's see. I see I'm seeing a lot of dig spaces, so let's go. Oh, a gyroid. Okay. Interesting. All right, I did see a dig space, I think. Another fossil. Interesting. 
Now they gave us a shovel. My concern is that my shovel is going to break before I find whatever they're hoping I'll find because, oh, I didn't even think about the pitfall thing and I went right into it. Are these all pitfalls? How do they have so many pitfalls? And why are there so many pitfalls? These are all important questions. We're just going to trigger all of them because at this point, what do we got to lose? <laughs> So bear with me as I just trigger all of these. Well, not the, that's done. How are you supposed to get up here? Oh. Another fossil. Okay. There's clearly... They didn't give me a ladder, but there's something like right there, just out of reach. This is the other player house. So, now that I got past there, oh, just kidding, there's more pitfalls. Now that we've really gotten past all their pitfalls, which honestly, like, thank God. <laughs> Let's go into their house and check it out. I'm excited to see what they got going on. Not gonna lie. Oh! Oh. Oh. Wow. When they said Horror Island, I guess I, I finally understand. Any in there? Ooh. Oh, they have it, so the doors are on the other side. That's, that's lovely. That's, I'm so happy for you. Jeez. Um, which way would be, we're gonna go up. I always like going up first, I don't know why. Oh goodness. Why, why does this make it so much creepier? Hello, big bear. That's, um... Okay. That's... That's something. I'll tell you. No way to go but down, so... I'm gonna have to go down. Check it out. What? Oh, that's the same painting we saw. Is it trying to imply that somehow the toys are controlling everything and killing people? What? Because there was toys in the other house too and there was like that bloody bag outside. And near the doll with the axe there was that painting. This is all very confusing and interesting. Love what you did with the place. Uh, I'm going to be leaving now. Thanks for um, having me over. So sweet of you to invite me. All right. Well, this this is still just gorgeous. Look at this. I love everything about this little city part. This is so cool. All right. So now I feel like we've seen so much and it's only been one section. Now let's go down. This is coming down from the town plaza. A 7-Eleven. That's so cool. Even the trucks are 7-Eleven. I like that. This is great. I like this. Is there a way to um, get to the beach? Or no? Okay. This is kind of what I'm talking about though like there's so much space and you can tell that they've utilized the space well um, and, and they're, I know they're trying to keep the beaches plain so that's probably why they have it blocked off to make it feel a little more um, realistic but 
I feel really confined in some areas here. <laughs> um, do we want to go up or do we want to just keep going right? We'll just keep going right. Okay, we'll try that. This is stunning. What's up here? Actually, I'm going to go to the beach first because now I can see that there is access to the beach. Oh, there's like a little gas station. That's cool. There's access to the beach over here. I like that. This area is really sweet. Oh, it's the campsite. I like that. Oh, and this is where we would have ended up going up anyways. So. Right? Is this the same? Yeah, this is where we would have ended up coming up anyways. Oh, I like that. This is just a nice kind of outdoor relaxing area. A little boho with all the decorations and stuff. I like that. Really simple. I actually have the custom flooring, the dirt here. I have the same custom flooring. I really enjoy it. All right, now we will go up this way. Oh, I'm loving. I, You know, part of the reason I like the cherry blossoms too is beyond the fact that this is a Japanese-themed island, I like that it adds some color and fun in an island that's meant to have a bit of mystery and horror. Oh, I like your little nooks, cranny area. The shopping district is so cute. I keep meaning to do things like this on my island, like make proper zones for things, but then I forget. <laughs> oh, nice fishing area. Cool. Oh, I love this. Oh, I'm in their water. A nice dock. Oh, with like a harbor. I like that a lot, actually. That's a great idea, because the boats, you know, like most furniture can't go in the water, so I like when people utilize fake water. This is great. Another little dock. I like that even though everything's very confined, you know, it, it, a lot of dead ends, nothing really loops. I like that they all fit the theme and they all have their own little purpose. All right, a couple things in the in the wheat field here. A pitfall. It's like I knew it was going to be there. What do I think? Just one more. We'll give them. Oh, it's not a pitfall. A loose fall dress. Did we bury someone in the field? Is that the implication here? We buried their clothes after we killed them. It is a loose fall dress. Let me see. Oh, it's cute. Whoever they are, we did them in and put their cute dress here. I think that's everything. Am I missing anything? No. You know, that was a really fun island. I enjoyed all of it. And it's funny because when you look at the map from above, it doesn't look like there's been much done to it because there's just so much padding, like custom flooring. It looks very untouched, but I mean, look at this. This is incredible. The amount of work that must have gone into making all these different areas all the different details. I mean, that's that's incredible. And the amount of time to make it all flow. And the amount of money. There's a lot of money that goes into this. Oh, let me get our guy to breathe fire here. Oh, I was going to say, is he not going to do it? Come on. <laughs> this is one of the highlights of having the monster. Yeah, this is all great. Very simple terraforming in, in, in terms of terraforming, but the, the pathing and everything, there's just so much detail. I really like it. And I liked the element of us finding out about these toys that 
are killing people, abducting people? Who's to say? There's some kind of weird fishy stuff going on with them. So with that being said, I think that does it for this island tour. We saw everything. We got to see how incredible it is and all the wonderful details. If you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more like it because I'm going to do a lot more island tours and hopefully some other gaming content soon. So again, thank you for watching and until next time, toodles!